so I have the uh, Nikon and D850 specifications. Uh, like I said, you could all throw poo at me, as I said a week ago, for uh, mentioning uh, EVF. Depends on what side of the boat you're on, whether you think this is impressive or not. Uh, there's some impressive stuff here, and at the same time, it's a little bit meh, but I'll let you make the decision. The camera's going to be announced on the 16th of August. These images were leaked onto uh, Reddit, and they're all in Chinese, while well, everybody else is floundering with the Chinese to English translation of these specifications. Um, I have, I've got a Chinese girlfriend. <laughs> uh, there you go with that one. Um, okay, here's the specifications on the Nikon D850. 3.2 inch, 2.36 million dot LCD. No AA filter. 45.57 megapixels. Um, in camera, not tethered, not on the computer, in camera focus stacking for macro and landscape uh, photography. So it's automated in camera. This is a huge boon for product photographers as a dream camera. Um, same X Speed 5 processor as the Nikon D5. 64 to 25,600 ISO with low setting of 32 and high setting of 108,400. 108, Electronic shutter in live view at 6 frames per second. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Anyway, electronic shutter, live view, 6 frames per second. No AA filters. I said 14-bit uncompressed raw files. One quarter size autofocus points, both uh, one half in height and width, so that you can smoke, focus on uh, smaller objects or pick out in a shallow depth of field, you know, like a person's eyeball at uh, you know, 10, 15 feet. Um, the important thing, and this is uh, no different than the X-T2, so the Nikon D810 has got a couple of features like the X-T2, that you got to buy the grip to get 9 frames per second. Uh, so 9 frames per second and high-speed continuous uh, photography, but you need to have the MB D18 battery grip to get that. Without that, it is uh, 7 frames per second. So 7 frames per second continuous um, camera only for continuous shooting with a buffer depth of 51 on a 14-bit uncompressed. So, 7 frames per second on the camera, you got to add the, va the battery grip for the uh, 9 frames per second. So, 7 and battery grip 9, which uh, has the ENEL18 battery in the grip. Just what I told you, the power requirements, be just because there's two batteries in the vertical grip on the X-T2. The much bigger uh, bulbous uh, pentaprism area is for 0.75 internal magnification. This will be really um, very, very helpful for a lot of people. By the way, the X-T2 viewfinder is incredible. Uh, really, I'm not trying to compare it against the X-T2 since it's a huge 45.57 megapixel camera, but it's kind of astonishing that uh, some of the features are mimicking that of the X-T2, like the viewfinder, and the fact that uh, it's sucking a lot of power, so you cannot get the full capabilities of the damn camera, which is a brilliant idea, but it's a power thing, unless you have the grip. Okay, let's go on. Um, yeah, new optical viewfinder, 0.75 magnification. Um, you can already do that, actually, with a screw-on magnifying viewfinder, which I already have six of those things on six of my Nikons. Um, yeah, no AA filter. That's really, really important. Um, 8K uh, time-lapse video, 4K video. Um, the pentaprism inside is huge. That's where the 0.75 magnification is not only bigger this way, but it's bigger this way. So... Uh, it's going to be a lot better to uh, pop your eyeball, especially if your glasses wear, on the Nikon D850. Silent shutter mode at uh, 45 megapixels. So you have a silent shutter mode. That's going to be the electronic shutter at 6 frames per second. Oh, advanced uh, automatic white balance. Who really gives a darn about that? However, Nikon will speak up any... In a, Slightly insignificant feature is something amazing, but it, it and that's any advancement is is good. But uh, really, Nikon should be bringing more to the table. Anyway, on with the features: advanced white balance for natural light, 153 point, yeah, autofocus, same as the D5, expanded coverage um, from the Nikon uh, 
D810, uh, but no, an expanded coverage at 130%. If there's any updates on this information, since it's all in Chinese and I got a Chinese girlfriend, I'll let you know later today. 10% bigger viewfinder. So, kind of like the X-T2 has. However, the X-T2 is much bigger than the, this will be. Um, yeah, so those are the key features. 45.57, exactly, megapixels. 9 frames per second, but only if you have the vertical grip, which is taking the big honking MBD18 battery. I don't know if you know what the size of that battery is, but it's really big. Um, 9 frames per second, yeah, okay. 7 frames per second continuous shooting, yeah, at uh, 51 depth, 55, 51 shots uh, at 14 bit. Now, that's really important. That's actually pretty really damn impressive at 45.57 megapixels not jpegs you have a buffer depth of 51 shots of 14 bit uncompressed raw files that's that's a lot of data shuttling its way onto the cards um yeah iso 6400 to 25600 so there you go. I'll, if I get any further details this evening, I will let you know. Those are the specifications of the Nikon D850. Uh, yeah, 3.2 inch. Yeah, one last feature. 3.2 inch, 2.36 million dot LCD. There you go. I'm, yeah, 2.36 million dot. I don't remember the, the size increase of that is. A touch screen also. I told you that would be the case. on the Same as on the Nikon D500 where you can pinch and zoom and scroll through your... Oh, also, yeah, the D500 does not have this. You can actually scroll through your menus on the D850. That's one additional touchscreen feature on the uh, D850. So you can pinch and zoom, like on the D500. 3.2 inch, 2.36 million dot LCD. Will be announced on the 16th, which is what, five days from now? And there you go. I brought it to you fastest and bestest. <clears throat> and whoever brought it to you... The original images are in Chinese. This, these images are on Reddit. Uh, so they had to be translated from the Chinese to the English since it's leaked information. So there you go. There's the specifications of the Nikon D850. To me, you can make up your mind whatever you think. I'm kind of of the view that uh, it's like, yeah, well, there's some improvements there. But really, it's just like a, a beefed up full frame version of the D500. Some improvements in the touch screen. Okay, that is impressive on the buffer. You do have to have the vertical grip. So if you buy the camera, it's 7 frames per second. You've got to buy the vertical grip. People are bitching about that on the X-T2 Fuji. It's like you don't get the full frame per second unless you bought the vertical grip. It's going to be exactly the same on the Nikon DA50, which is brilliant. It's like now you bought the camera. If you want to unleash its full potential, you got to add a vertical battery grip, a vertical grip with a huge battery in it. But that's really no different than this. I mean, there's two batteries in the vertical grip on the X-T2. So there you go. There's the specifications on the Nikon D850. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. If I find any more information out, I'll make a video here later. Okay, bye.